Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the latest uh, FB09 Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich leak on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I do have a review video if you want to check that out going over things that work, things that don't work. It's actually a very long video going over pretty much everything. You're definitely going to want to see the face unlock uh, as well demonstration. But anyways, this will show you how to install the ROM itself. Now to uh, get this ROM, you're going to need to click on the link in the description. You are going to need to be rooted and have Clockwork Mod, so make sure you do have both of those. A uh, big shout out and thanks to Will to get AC Syndicate Forms too. Shabby Penguin, ACS Head Chef. Big thanks to him, um, as well as the uh, anonymous source for the leak. <laughs> but anyways, what you're going to need to do is just go ahead and click on this download link right here. Big download. It'll uh, be a stock rooted uh, zip. Stock pre-rooted zip, actually. It'll look like that. Um, stock rooted DDX FB09 zip. Just transfer that zip file over to your SD card. No need to extract it. Just transfer it on over to your device and you will uh, be ready to go. So once you have it on your device, go ahead and go back to your Epic 4G Touch. I am holding this up with my fly grip. Uh, what you're going to need to do is actually just power off your device because we're going to need to get into our custom recovery. So make sure you do uh, back up any data, anything like that. Uh, the method to install this ROM is a little different, so you're definitely going to watch. want to watch this. It <laughs> took me a little while to figure it out. I, I was uh, through some testing. I finally figured out the method needed to install this ROM. So anyways, what you're going to need to do is first go into Clockwork Mod, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Let go when the Samsung screen lights up like so and then what we're going to need to do first is um, I'm going to recommend making an Android backup just in case when you do install the ROM you will not have Clockwork Mod since the kernel uh, is overwritten and the recovery is written in kernel on Galaxy S2 devices. So go to backup and restore, make an Android backup, then go to the wipe menu and hit wipe data factory reset and hit yes. So it's going to delete all your data, everything, so make sure you do have any specific backups that you need do need to run. Then go to wipe cache, hit yes, wipe cache. Once that's done, go to wipe Delvic cache and hit yes. Then once all three of those are wiped, hit go back, install zip from file, choose zip from SD card or internal storage, select it, and then navigate to that stock rooted DDX FB09 ROM zip and select it. So it's going to go ahead and run through the install process for you. Um, it should, it'll take a little while, so just be patient with it, and once done, I will be back. Alright, as you can see, install complete, that means the ROM is done installing, just hit go back, and then hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your phone. What's going to happen is it will most likely get stuck on the boot animation at the 4G screen, actually. Um, I ran into this a lot. Uh, I did have to do a lot of different testing, actually, because I didn't have clockwork mode, I had to go completely uh, back to stock and then reroute, re get, reinstall Clockwork Mod. Um, so it was definitely a pain to debug this and find, get the correct method to install. But anyways, it will get stuck on the 4G screen. So just go ahead and uh, pull your back cover off and uh, pull your battery. So go ahead and just pull the battery. Now what we're going to need to do is pop it back in and go into our our stock recovery now. Press and hold volume up and power button. You will see that you will not have Clockwork Mod. Let go when the Samsung screen lights up. And it will take us into the stock recovery. Looks like a, it's definitely different. Modified stock recovery for ice cream sandwich, as you can see. will take us into this... Uh, Android system recovery, what we're going to need to do is go down to wipe data, factory reset, select it with the power button, and then just hit delete all user data. So select that, it's going to go ahead and format all your data again. And once that's done, what we're going to need to do is just hit reboot system now. So go ahead and reboot your device. It's actually going to get stuck once again on the 4G screen. So you can imagine how difficult this was for me to figure out how to get it to boot. But um, once again, uh, go ahead and let it boot up. It will get, it should get stuck on the 4G screen. If it doesn't, then then good for you. But um, it definitely most likely will get stuck on the 4G screen. All right, and then just go ahead and pull your battery once again. Pull it on out, pop it back in, and just power it on. And you should be good to go then. So now power it on and you should be ready to go. Once it boots up, you will actually be running the FB09 ice cream sandwich leak on your Epic uh, 4G Touch. 
So go ahead and let it boot up. And once it boots up, it should work. It should say uh, Android is upgrading or something and it'll run through and optimize all the applications. Um, let's go ahead and let this boot up. All right, it looks like it got stuck once again. If it does, all you'll probably need to do is just pull the battery, pop it back in and power the device back on and it should boot back up just in case it gets stuck at all on the on the 4G screen again. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up. There it goes. So as you can see, um, it did just take another battery pull and reboot. So you might need a little extra one there, but as you can see, Android is upgrading. It'll optimize all your applications. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that optimize. It will take a little while and I'll be back. All right, as you can see, it's booted on up. Um, you will see some bugs, so definitely check out my review video. I'll be going over everything. You will see that the Samsung keypad will force close, so you will need to basically switch over to swipe. So I'm letting, the, it'll load up. It's definitely, it might uh, freeze up on you at the beginning while it's loading up. But as you can see, unfortunately, Samsung keypad has stopped, hit okay. Press menu, go to settings, um, scroll down, go to language and input, select that, and then go to default and go to swipe. So select swipe and then the Samsung keypad will stop force closing. I do recommend going to about phone, system updates, and update your profile and PRL. So I do recommend running through, updating both of those. But anyways, everything should be working. One thing that does not work is MMS, um, I, I do go over all of that in my review video, so definitely be sure to check that out. But anyways, update your profile, update your PRL. As you can see, it's it's doing its thing. But other than that, that would be it. That would be how to install the latest FB09 leak build, leaked build. Definitely check out my review video so you can uh, get everything situated and you know what the bugs are and everything. But anyways, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.